The theories of theatre and uh, drama and construction of a, of a plot, all that was part of my curriculum and that formulated me, that gave me an understanding, that gave me a, a better perspective of what was going on inside me and I was able to express myself better without proper education. Proper education in the sense, a minimum of three years in college, any college, without that, film language is always elusive. I was a very uh, voracious reader. I used to read like three books at the same time, like two hours this one, two hours that. Freud was a very strong influence. Roots had a very lasting effect on me. Shakespeare. Uh, Robert Frost is one very important uh, writer I really like. Kafka's trial, when it was translated to Tamil, it was called Visarane. That's one of the main reasons I chose this title because even in trial we really don't know why he was he is being arrested and why he is being interrogated why he is being convicted. So I get very very easily excited and I get carried away and I want to make film about everything. I take at least one year to tell myself that I've written a script. I take at least a year to shoot, then a year to edit. If a content enables me to understand myself better and life in a better way. If, if I really believe that I, a script could do that to me, then I will try to make that into a film. Once I lose interest, I really can't keep making it. I, I don't believe in message, social message. I really don't believe in that through films. When we try to propagate through a film, I feel that that's not a filmmaker's job. Tamil Nadu's Chief Justice Prakash, he had arranged a screening for his class of magistrates, some 110 magistrates, Chandrakumar was invited. He addressed the magistrate. He accused the magistrates for what happened to him. He asked them, who is responsible for those eight months of my life I lost because of the negligence of someone like you. IPS Academy in Hyderabad, they wanted to screen the film and have a discussion with them. They wanted me to come and address them. Whenever the conscience pricks them, they rise up and want to do some change. But the system goes on, it absorbs and anything that comes the way. Sometimes we get the urge to raise our voice. We raise our voice and then we are put down, brought down by the whole system. The system could be anybody like you know, your, your, your wife, your mother, your, your child or your authorities. Someone brings it down. If my protagonist is always in charge of the situation that doesn't excite me. It's about the grace. When the mentor nurtured the student, realizes that he might outgrow him. The student looks at the mentor as a threat to his growth, what happens. So these are things that excite me, the exploring the gray shades. Actually, the second half of the film, a very high profile criminal would be brought in for interrogation. He dies. These boys stand witness and how they are taken out of the equation. These are the three things that I had in me when I started shooting. I was trying to find, figure out the film through the characters and how it goes. As the second half progressed, what we realized was all of us were like Mutuel. We knew what was happening and we knew that something has to be done. We know that something has to be done, but none of us do anything. We just are mute spectators. I felt so guilty to write that scene where they all sit and discuss how to kill these boys. And I was just channelizing. I was more of a moderator for, for that scene. I told my cinematographer, okay, you just fix the lights. Let's get the, the place lit. And then these people are talking wherever they're going. Let's go, I said. The, the education that we got is the refinement that we see in our work. But the blueprint is whatever that we grew on. All the Tamil films and the Hollywood films that we saw and all the old stories that we heard. That's what we are actually.
we are wrapped with the western education that's what i feel i was just talking about this particular thing this morning and our education has given us the fineness of you know making it appealing for the western viewers as well like working with uh, my my education as well as working with balu mahendra expressing yourself in a subtler way i've never been comfortable with songs i i used to tell balu mahendra sir sir why do you want to have songs he used to ask me you are asking me that but as i got a better perspective and started contemplating on that particular issue i realized indians tamilians are well equipped in expressing ourselves through songs than through drama a science is in songs astronomy in songs astrology in songs medicine in songs everything is in in songs told in songs and we have that mystic quality we attributed it to the songs and whatever happens the songs alone have sustained like beat the epics then came the other narratives then poetry came in then came the street plays then came films the only thing that's constant is the songs so songs are the integral part of our lifestyle but the way songs are used in film as a tool of escapism is what i don't like i watched less uh, indian films so to say titi is one film that i like but of course a debutant filmmaker wouldn't have any film education who wanted to do a film he has done a film and i seriously thought that that would be selected by for the oscars that film someone from sun tv they said we want to make films which are primarily not meant for theatrical uh, uh, release we are looking at a television release films i immediately called manigandan i wanted him to meet and i told him very rarely i go out on vacation that time i went out and i wa- i was in mahabalipuram i watched the film and i thought okay here is one guy who can make international films in tamil the way that wind was set was so perfect so perfectly set so i called manigandan and said do you have any script ideas he came up with two ideas i liked one both were good i told this is a good idea you start working on it four months later this guy sun tv guy called and said sorry we are calling off that project and I, by the time manigandan was ready with his script and i pitched it to all big companies nobody wanted to take it including fox star they said no i don't we don't think it will work here it's too experimental they said then i thought okay let me talk to dhanush and i called him and said he just read 10 pages and said sir let's do it i really like it i could see myself and my brother in this so let's do it we sent it to berlin that year didn't happen because the work was not complete and they weren't able to understand the film and uh, then we pushed it to khan we know khan is not possible with a film like that but still we pushed it then it clicked with uh, toronto they really liked it by the time we had also finished the film fox star when they saw the film they really liked it and they apologized we didn't realize that this would be such a good film and kaka mote is the highest grossing indian film ever in hong kong it is collected more than my name is khan and pk most of the youngsters i see are only looking at shortcuts shortcuts in the sense it's easy to write a, a, a traversed version of uh, reservoir dogs a, any of this tarantino and uh, guy ritchie kind of films to understand it really the way the filmmaker is conceived and execute it, it's different it's easy for us to look at something like that and get carried away and most of them like try to do that here in this milieu it doesn't apply and it doesn't work we are just trying hard so hard to make films every day morning we from home to college from college to home we have so many stories around us we are not looking at it the equation of visarna has changed i am so blank i am so nervous about uh, you know approaching this whole big game of promotion in los angeles one thing i know is it's going to be very expensive game they say like if it's shortlisted 1 million from the shortlist in to the announcement of the nominees before the shortlist another million which is like somewhere around 13 crores so it's really big money and uh, that i am responsible for 
So some people who don't value Oscar for the kind of hype that media is giving over this one small event. My responsibility is to make sure that at least the film gets good mileage and uh, visibility, more visibility than it has been getting till now. And going there, I think, will pitch all of us involved in the film on, an, uh, on a bigger platform. That, I think, is a yeah. good thing.